Hello, uh, Leah. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well, guys. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on. Okay, as I always say, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This isn't your story if I don't pick up on your story. Stick around as sometimes they could be just messages for a while that jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back so Leah let's start your reader and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. So and just to note that, of course, like I said, take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. And just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. All right. So Leo, this is interesting. Um, this is more about you. I mean, every reading I do, I like to focus on the, the, the sign that I'm reading for, but this is really more about you and looking at your stuff because you have an emotional connection with this person that you're not wanting to acknowledge. There's something around you not wanting to acknowledge the extent, let's say that, of the emotional connection that you do have with this person because I feel like it makes you feel possibly out of control. That was like that out of control um there's a level of strength that you're needing to pull on or trying to contain that inner beast and that inner beast for you represents you feeling like you're out of control if you get too close to someone or you're you you you're, you're emotionally bond in that way to that extent um yeah we've got the will of fortune wanting things to turn around because there is this acknowledgement that this person in some way shape or form makes you happy they make you happy but that in itself makes you feel uncomfortable you're wanting to get on top of that it's like you're wanting to remain in control of of that it's not a, a natural flow of emotions where you're accepting there's acceptance of how you feel you're trying to yeah remain in control of that because there's something around that that makes you feel uncomfortable deep-rooted has nothing to do with this person. I feel like it could be with anyone else or any relationship that you kind of enter into. It could be this person. This person might be triggering you in certain ways. They definitely are triggering you in certain ways, but for some of you, it could be something that you kind of do when it comes to relationships. That's not for all of you. This person is acknowledging that there is this form of, um, I don't want it to say ending, some of you, it could be you trying to push this person away so they're interpreting it as this coming to an ending. But there's a realization for them around this. It's like they have insight into what you're doing and why you're doing it. So there is this willingness for them to want to put in the work. It's like they made a decision to put in the work when it comes to you and this relationship, even though you might be pushing them away, even though you might be not so responsive to their advances let's say that they are feeling like yeah there's insight around why you're doing what you're doing but there's also feeling of you maybe engaging in other other people or talking to other people and that could be true but i feel like there's acknowledgement possibly on their side as to why you're doing it and you're really doing it simply because again it's going back to this wanting to distance yourself because you're feeling uncomfortable with this person. So that distancing could be, you know, you kind of just engaging in just conversations with other people, that type of thing, maybe even uh, trying to date other people if that's the case. 
but this person is not not kind of yeah it's like they're still wanting victory when it comes to this this is representing you how they see you and wanting that emotional fulfillment with you this person has insight or awareness um, around why you're doing what you're doing but like it's just come to them or maybe information has come to them but there's definitely awareness there you you're being a bit cold towards them again it's this pushing away you know how you're acting is is you know the intention is to push this person away they've, they've gotten too close to you ultimately and it's making you feel uncomfortable they're not giving up though it's like they're showing up as the empress like oh, you could push me away as much as you want you can uh, and in, in a good way this is a good thing this is someone i feel like this is someone that you might not you might not see it in that way but this is someone that I feel you need, you know, because if you don't have someone who's persistent and has insight, then, you know, I'm sure you've experienced people just walking away, walking away, especially if you're exhibiting these types of um, behaviors, it's, you know, getting close to someone and then feeling uncomfortable to the point where you start to back off and it's left the person in dismay. You're wanting to move forward. Again, it's this wanting to move forward wanting to put an end to this uh there's a lack of clarity but keeping things to yourself the the interesting thing again is this again emotional connection is coming up strong emotional connection which you're trying to keep in check you're trying to keep in check making you feel uncomfortable for the fact that there's the fall there which talks about disappointment and we've got the lovers there. So there's the acknowledgement that you have a strong emotional connection with this person. You're definitely attracted to them. But you're disappointed because it's, it's not disappointing them. It's just disappointing the emotions and thoughts and feelings that you have to deal with when it comes to this connection. Really trying to keep a lid on those emotions. It just makes you uncomfortable. Look at your attachment styles, uh, Taub, Staub, Tor, uh, Leo. You know, because like I said, in the past, you've probably experienced people just giving up on this, where this person is not giving up. And I feel like you need that. You need that. You need someone who's consistent. You need someone who's not going to fold under the pressure that you give because you could be really, you know, that Leo fire, you know, could be be harsh with your words. You could be, you know, those, those, those words that can cut straight through ice. But this person is like, uh-uh, I've got awareness on this. We've got that epiphany card again as well, that realization. I'm aware of how you're moving, why you're moving, what's going on. Maybe they might have, maybe this is someone who has a background in maybe therapy or counseling or that type of uh, thing, maybe psychology. But there's a realization. It's like they've still got that realization. And I'm going to take control of this. I'm not going to fold under the pressure that you're putting up. I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to walk towards you because I feel like there's something here. Yeah, there's a bit of stress for them around that. But I feel like there's something here. I think there's something here and I want to pursue this. Still this um, feeling of you engaging in things that you, you know, are engaging in. This might not be a, a, a relationship, a committed relationship as well. Hence why this person is even more comfortable. I wouldn't even say comfortable, but more tolerant, let's say that, of uh, you engaging in, you know, other people or talking to other people. But regardless of that, it's like, I want a relationship with you. You know, I want a relationship with you. Doubts, uh, you know, come up. Coming up for this person with the five. And then, then we have the uh, shadow side there. Things that are uncomfortable to witness. Things that are uncomfortable to see. But there is this level of determination that this person has. And it's because of the insight that they have around this. So going back to you, it's more about you kind of figuring out why, what is making you uncomfortable when it gets, when it comes to, because there's happiness here. You acknowledge that you're happy emotionally when it comes to this person in some way, shape or form. You acknowledge that there's a strong emotional connection with this person. So what is the problem? It boils down to how you're feeling with those emotions. You just don't feel comfortable with that. You just don't. Um, and that's a you thing. And that's fine. You've got to heal it, reveal it to heal it. That's the key word there. I've got to reveal it to heal it. So now we're revealing it. 
now we've got to heal it and look at it because you're just going to repeat the same cycle. If it's not this person, it's someone else. I think this person is a blessing personally simply because they're persistent. They're persistent. You know, they're going to help support you in making that change or that shift if they continue with this patience. And of course, if you want to, you know, pursue something with that, only you would tell, only you can tell that. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the part twos uh, next week, guys, look out for that. We just kind of expand on this spread in part two for those that are interested, of course. Um, so hopefully you have a, a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.